following the announcement that the Italian contestant Giovanni Pernis would not be participating in the upcoming season of Strictly Come Dancing, the investigation into his alleged workplace, misconduct, is still underway. The BBC One show's announcement of the dancers participating today finally made the dancing pro's absence from this year's lineup clear. The investigation into Giovanni's behavior continues after the big reveal which is a standard practice for the show's executives. A commercial is presently playing on the video player. Giovanni's case is very much ongoing. A show insider stated, Once Strictly has finalized the contracts of the pros eligible to compete, the announcement is distributed. It has been known for a few weeks that Giovanni will not be playing in the 2024 season. However, the examination into his purported misconduct will persist in developing concurrently with the arrangements for the forthcoming series. After the 33-year-old dancer was accused of threatening and abusive behavior while working with famous participants on the show, such as Amanda Abington, Runder Singh, and Laura Whitmore, the BBC opened an investigation. A male celebrity is said to have joined the group of women who have been complaining about Giovanni's behavior last week. It has also been reported that following her appearance on the show with Giovanni, a professional dancer required three months of therapy. According to The Sun, the anonymous fellow dancer experienced significant emotional distress during the performance and needed medical attention. One of the dancers on the show found it so traumatizing that they sought professional help. A source informed the publication. There is nothing like the show on TV. The amount of pressure placed on participants is immense and should not be underestimated. However, Giovanni's demanding actions behind the scenes escalated the situation and resulted in substantial emotional suffering. They required counseling to get over the emotional toll that what had happened to them. To pursue lawsuits against Giovanni and the BBC, three women, among them actress Amanda, have hired attorneys at prestigious London law firm Carter Ruck for £700 per hour. An unidentified male celebrity who collaborated with Giovanni on the show is rumored to have shared his experiences with the legal firm adding another twist to the intense legal dispute. A male has now joined them, following the three ladies who came out earlier. A source told The Sun that he personally reached out to the women at the center of this developing problem, promising them his entire support and assistance. Additionally, he communicated with Carter Ruck, sharing his experiences and imparting his knowledge. These were occasionally quite difficult experiences. Giovanni retaliated by appointing the competing legal firm Shillings. Joel Rich, 39, is handling his case. She defended Johnny Depp during his 2020 libel trial. Shillings is engaging with BBC Studios to supply it with Giovanni's information to firmly dispute the charges being made about him and affirm Giovanni is fully cooperating, a spokeswoman for Giovanni told the publication, similar to any other reality TV program. The producers owe obligation to all participants to act responsibly when choices are made for entertainment value. Rehearsal tapes between Amanda and Giovanni were reportedly withheld from the actress after she insisted on seeing them as evidence of her allegations of abuse. Amanda was informed that the videos did not belong to her because they included Giovanni, a third party, in addition to her. He thus has the right to prevent his personal information or content from being shared without his consent. It invites the question, what has he got to hide, an insider told The Sun. It appears unprofessional. The BBC will have reviewed the footage and considered if it was possible to redact content showing him. The insider stated. After speaking with him, they have chosen to fully withhold it per his request. The irony is that, despite Amanda's friend's insistence that it was her idea, Giovanni's camp presented the appearance that cameras were used to record rehearsals. Midway through the competition, Amanda withdrew, citing personal reasons following weeks of rumors pointing to a falling out between her and Giovanni. The Sherlock actress insisted on seeing rehearsal footage after revealing that she had been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Previous allegations that Giovanni had asked the BBC to film his rehearsals with the actress due to growing concerns about her behavior were refuted by Amanda, who stated that it was she who had asked for their dancing practices to be filmed and not him. It was me who requested that they be recorded, she uttered. Giovanni is a jerk. To some of us, a number of us, he was terrible. Amanda continued by describing how the experience had completely destroyed her life 
and how everything had blown up since she had abruptly abandoned the program in the midst of the previous season. She reported in January that she had worked with Giovanni and developed post-traumatic stress disorder. She also claimed to have damaged her foot during training. You have no idea how horrible everything is, she murmured. Now that Giovanni's admirers have begun to harass me, I've got to stop using social media because I'm receiving death threats. Additionally, the actress emphasized that she had voiced her concerns about Giovanni's actions early in the series. I informed producers about Giovanni early on, she remarked. All of this because I didn't appreciate a television series, she bemoaned the fallout. All this made it less enjoyable for me. Amanda has spearheaded the accusation against him for a difficult attitude during training and is in the process of having a conversation with the BBC on potential misconduct at work. Head Judge Shirley Ballas has supported the Underfire Pro despite the outcry, and she will be conducting several dancing workshops in London with him next month. Belando is a one-day event where fans may learn from experts Shirley, Giovanni, and Anton Dubique. The specifics of Giovanni's alleged behavior are still unknown. However, the BBC released an unprecedented statement regarding the disagreement. A representative for Strictly stated, When the BBC receives a complaint, we investigate the matter and take appropriate action to gather information, determine the facts, and determine whether a case needs to be answered. All of this is related to the BBC's duty of care to all parties involved in a complaint, including those who have been the subject of complaints as well as those who have made the complaint. Although we are aware that many participants in our events have had excellent experiences, we will always consider any concerns with consideration, justice, and consideration for all parties involved. According to those with knowledge of the matter, Amanda's team put pressure on the BBC to declare out loud that she was the one who requested that the rehearsals be recorded. According to a source, it's really awful. Amanda wished for the BBC to validate her account of events and correct her record. Naturally, though, they cannot. It merely demonstrates how loudly she yells at things if she doesn't agree with what is being stated. The BBC released the names of the experts participating this year and it became apparent that Giovanni was missing from the lineup. Amy Dowden, who underwent treatment for breast cancer last year, will be back this season along with Diane Buswell, Karen Hauer, Katia Jones, Neil Jones, Nikita Kuzmin, Gorka Marquez, and Luba Mushduck, Jaota Prisistel, Johannes Radabe, Kai Widrington, Nancy Sue, Carlos Gu, Lauren Oakley, Michelle Tsiakas, and Vito Coppola joined them on the dance floor. The return of judges Craig Revel Horwood, Matsi Mabuz, Anton Dubique, and Shirley Ballas was also confirmed by the BBC. This year marks Strictly's two decades of entertaining the nation, and we will be back with a bang in September, as we celebrate in style with our incredible team both on and off screen, said Sarah James, executive producer, in a statement. In due course, more information will be released including the identities of the brand new celebrity competitors who will be competing in 2024.